Hi, welcome to Modern Yoga Movement. This is Miles Maeda, and we are here at Under the Light Yoga School in Tokyo, Japan. If you're in Japan or you're ever coming for a visit, this is a great place to practice. I highly recommend it. And I'll place the information for the studio in the description below. Today's practice, we're going to do a Kundalini Yoga based sequence and it is to help us uh, keep the spine healthy and flexible. It also opens and energizes the chakras, and overall it uh, elevates our energy, increasing our vitality, and helps us to be inspired, uplifted, and creating the change that we want in our life. So we'll begin with the chant, Ong Namo, Gurudev Namo, which helps us to tune into the creative energy in the body and the creative energy around us. And it uh, helps our practice so that uh, we're using this energy for our growth and evolution and to support the growth and evolution of all beings. So bring your hands together in front of the chest. Close the eyes. And inhale. Oh, Namo. Gently holding the breath, the chest relaxes, belly relaxes, pelvic floor relaxes. And exhale, hands come to the knees. First exercise is for the aura. We'll open the hands, stretch the thumbs up, fingers out to the sides, and then curl the fingers in so the fingertips are pressing at the base of the fingers. And we'll extend the arms 60 degrees from the horizon. Shoulders down, lift the spine, and we'll do breath of fire, powerful inhalation and exhalation, pumping the belly. Inhale and begin. <laughs> Inhale, touch the thumbs overhead. 
Simply holding the breath. Exhale, separate the thumbs. Squeeze the breath out. Lift the pelvic floor, Mula Bandha. Inhale, again touch the thumbs. And then open the hands and exhale. Slowly lower the arms, sweeping the aura, clearing away any negative energy. And then relax with some long, deep breathing. Just feel that you're circulating the breath to all the parts of the body. The next pose is an easy pose. Feet under the knees, holding on to the shins, and we'll inhale, the chest comes forward, exhale, rounding the back, rolling back. So we're inhaling, rolling to the front of the sits bones, and then exhaling over the back of the sits bones. So let's begin, inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale, sit up, lifting the spine, and exhale, relax. You can rest the hands on the knees. And once again, do some long, deep breathing. Inhale, bringing energy to the body. Exhale, releasing any stagnant or stale energy. Staying in our easy pose, we'll do an abdominal twist. Extend the arms out to the sides, parallel to the floor. Place the hands on the shoulders so the thumbs are behind and the forefingers are in front. The shoulders are down, lift the spine. And to the left, we inhale. And to the right, we exhale, moving your head with the shoulders. So let's begin inhaling left, exhaling right.
Now inhale, center. And exhale, relax. You can rest the hands on the knees. Long, deep breathing. As you're relaxing and breathing, feel that you're bringing nourishment to all the cells of the body. And you're letting go of anything you no longer need. We'll do hinge pose next. So stretch the legs out in front. And we'll hold on to the big toes, squeezing the big toe nail with the thumb and the two fingers. And this stimulates the pituitary gland or the third eye chakra. And the focus here is a elevated spine. So we lift from the back of the head, inhaling up. Exhaling, hinging from the hips, bending forward, and keeping the spine relatively straight. So let's inhale up and exhale down. Inhale, lift up, hold the breath, lift the spine from the back of the head. Stay up, exhale all of the breath. Hold out, again lifting from the back of the head. Inhale, and then exhale, relax. When you feel ready, you can rest in easy pose. Long, deep breathing. So letting the energy of each exercise be integrated The next pose is Maha Mudra, which is similar to Janu Shrishasana B. Again, we'll stretch the legs out and we'll sit on the right heel. So bring the heel under the pelvis and we're sitting uh, so the heel is pressing at the perineum. And this is uh, behind the genitals and before, uh, in front of the anal sphincter. So right at the base of the torso, 
we grab onto the big toe and we squeeze again that big toenail, lifting the spine, bending forward. If you can, elbows on the floor, head on the knee or the leg. If you're not there, just do your best. Extend the leg, extend the spine, and we'll do breath of fire. So it's a steady, rhythmic breath. Inhale and begin. Inhale, exhale all of the breath, hold it out, stretch forward towards the foot. Inhale, come up and exhale, change, sitting on the left heel. And grabbing the right big toe, squeezing that big toenail, stretching forward, inhale, extending the leg, breath of fire. Inhale, exhale all of the breath, holding out, stretch forward towards the foot, inhale come up, and exhale relax. Coming back into easy pose or any comfortable sitting position. Long, deep breathing. So we wanna relax, rest in between each pose. Circulate the breath. Circulate the prana. So bringing energy to the body, bringing nourishment to the cells, moving any stale or stagnant energy, and also releasing and letting go what we no longer need. Okay, the next pose will spread the legs wide. Similar to Upavishta Konasana. And sit right on top of the sits bones and grab onto the big toes. We'll inhale, lift the spine up in the middle. Exhale to the left, head down towards the knee. Inhale up in the middle again. And then exhale, head down towards the right knee. And let's begin, inhaling, exhaling.
Now inhale, center. And we'll do this down the middle, exhaling forward, inhaling up. up, exhale forward bend, coming down, hold the breath out, stretch down, inhale up, and exhale, relax. And when you feel ready, carefully bring in one leg at a time, resting in easy pose. Breathing in healing energy, allowing it to go wherever it's needed in the body. We'll do Cobra Pose next. So lie on the belly, and if cobra is difficult, if you have issues with your back, you can come into sphinx pose, resting on the elbows, and if the elbows are a little bit forward of the shoulders, you can gently pull and get a little lift up the front of the body. If you can do the full cobra, then inhale, come all the way up. And shoulders are down, long neck, reaching through the legs. And again, lifting up the front of the body. And if it's okay for your neck, look up, lifting up through the throat. And here we do breath of fire, inhale, and begin. <laughs> Inhale, holding the breath, lift the pelvic floor, mula bandha. Lift the energy up the spine. Exhale all of the breath out. Arch a little bit more, stretching up. Inhale. And on the exhale, we'll slowly come down. So using your arms for support, keep looking up. One vertebra at a time coming down. And you can rest on your chin. Or you can place the hands in front of you and rest 
forehead on the hands. Let's do a little counter pose. Bring the legs together, hands under the shoulders, inhaling. And on the exhale, use your breath and push up onto all fours. And just rest in child's pose for a moment. Inhale here, and then exhale, roll up, lifting from the pelvic floor all the way up the spine. And we'll come back into easy pose. We'll do shoulder shrugs next, hands on the knees. So we inhale. Press the hands down, the shoulders come up towards the ears. And on the exhale, we'll just let the shoulders drop. And this is a little fast. Inhale and exhale. Now inhale, the shoulders come up. Soften the muscles of the neck and the shoulders. And then exhale, relax the shoulders down. And we'll go right into uh, making circles with the head. So bring the chin down towards the chest. And inhale, roll your head to the side, all the way to the back. Exhale, rolling around to the front. And do this at your own pace. Chin comes to your chest, reverse directions. Inhaling to the back, exhaling to the front. And when your chin comes to your chest, inhale the head up center and relax.
The last pose is called Sat Kriya. And we will come into rock pose or Vajrasana, sitting on the heels. If this is difficult, you can use a block. You can even do this sitting in a chair. So we're going to chant Sat Nam. And when we chant Sat, pull the belly in. And when we chant Nam, the belly relaxes. Sat is powerful. Nam is gentle. Place the hands together, keeping the palms pressing. Interlace the fingers and just keep the index fingers up so it will look like that. And we'll extend the arms overhead, arms by the ears. And again, keep the shoulders down, lift the spine. So the energy will go up when we chant Sat, and the energy will go down when we chant Nam. Focus at your third eye, and let's begin inhaling. Sat. Sat nam 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 inhale Squeeze the body, pulling the energy up the spine. Exhale. Staying in the pose, inhale. Exhale, all the breath out. Mula Bandha, lift the pelvic floor. Pull all the way up. Inhale, and we'll open the arms, exhale, slowly lower them all the way to the floor. And then relax. And then lie on the back for deep relaxation.
Now to come out of our deep relaxation, we take a deep breath in, and then exhale, slowly waking up the body. So circle the wrists and ankles, and change directions. And then full body stretch, reaching the arms overhead. Reach all the way through the fingers and toes. And next we do a cat stretch, bringing the right knee up. And the left hand helps bring the knee across towards the floor, keeping that right arm by the ear. And switch sides, inhaling and then exhaling. Come to the center, hug the knees into the chest. You can rock left to right. Place the palms of the hands together, soles of the feet together and rub vigorously. And then hug the knees again. You can also uh, place the hands behind the knees, bring the head and shoulders off the floor, and kick your feet, rocking and rolling on the back. Rolling like a ball. And then come sitting up. And just take a moment to observe yourself. Noticing how your physical body feels. Noticing how your breath, your energy, your emotional state feels. And also noticing the state of the mind. And then to finish, bring your hands together. And thank you very much for joining me for today's class. Satnam.